Hi and welcome to the sew along. So this garment has a very um, different construction sequence so bear with me on this. It is a knit garment, we have 6mm quarter inch seam allowances. Make sure your overlocker is threaded with 4 threads of colour that match your fabric. You are going to need access to a plain stitch and you're going to need a way of finishing the hems. You could use a twin needle or a cover stitch machine. So let's just jump straight in and get started. The first seam we're going to sew is the right shoulder seam as if you wear it. So what we're going to do is place the left front right side up. Then put the right front right side up on top of it. So we have both right sides together. So we have a wrong side and a right side. The seam we're going to sew is the right shoulder seam. And it's going to be three layers. So when you have your right front on top of your left front, take your back piece and place it right side down. And we're going to overlock the shoulder seam together through the three layers. Now open this up so you have the two fronts at the front and the back at the back and we're going to sew a sleeve into place. Take the sleeve and place it to the armhole here. Now there'll be a notch in the centre to match. And overlock through the three layers there at the front and then two layers at the back. We want that shoulder seam to face towards the back. So now fold the sleeve right side together like this, but we're not actually going to sew the sleeve yet. As you come down the side seam, what you will see is this overlap and we have to create a hem here first but just so we can sew the hem as one what we're going to do is just overlock the side seam from this notch downwards so we need to make sure this part is free so just match it like that and overlock through to the hem. So now let's match the shoulders on the other side. like so, we come down and we're going to overlock the side seam from exactly the same place that we did on the other side. So here's the underarm and the sleeve isn't sewn in yet. So just come to that notch below it and sew the side seam together. So now go to your iron and press those seams towards the back of the garment and we're going to sew a hem in at one and a half centimetres which is nine sixteenths of an inch. 
So if you need to press that hem in, now's the time to do it while you're pressing that seam towards the back. So you can use a cover seamer or a twin needle, just see how you go. So now we're going to sew the hem into place. I've pressed this at one and a half centimetres, nine sixteenths of an inch. So I'm going to start mine. So this is the front, this is the neckline, and I'm going to start mine from the shoulder edge here. So whether you choose a twin needle or um, a two rows of plain stitching or a cover seamer, you can get started. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with my cover stitcher. I love cover stitcher um, but sometimes it is a bit challenging um, I have checked all the settings here so we'll give it a go so what we're going to do is starting at the shoulder stitch down through the side seam across the back and back up to the shoulder on the other side So now rearrange your garment so that we can sew the other shoulder. So what we're looking for is the back right side up, the right front right side down and the left front right side down. So what we're going to do is overlock this top edge. Part way it will be two layers and then part way it will be three layers. You can go and press that towards the back of your garment if you like. Now we're going to overlock in the other sleeve. So open that seam up and place the sleeve into it making sure that the notch in the centre of the sleeve matches the shoulder seam. Now fold the sleeve so that it's right side together and we're going to overlock starting at the wrist through the underarm point and we're going to just overlap the side seam here and then stitch off. Now come to the sleeve on the other side and we're going to do exactly the same thing but when we come to the underarm point here make sure you've caught the three layers of the under front here because we want that to sit nicely into the side seam firstly to give us extra warmth and secondly it makes it easier to put on and take off if it's secured there
So if you're sewing the long sleeve version, you can simply turn this up now and hem the sleeves. If you're sewing the cuff version, you can sew the cuff into place. And if you're sewing the extension version, which is the video I'm showing you now, we'll go ahead and sew that to the lower part of the sleeve. To complete the extension, we have some pieces to sew together. This is the lower sleeve and you need to make sure it's cut out of something that's very stretchy like a rib or a cotton lycra. 50% um, stretch or greater, 100% would be perfect but 50% or greater will work. So we have a lower sleeve and upper sleeve and then the rectangle is the side. So let's start with the lower. Take two of these and place them right sides together and overlock through that curve. There is a notch in the center to match. Then turn that so it is wrong sides together or right side out and go to your iron and give it a press like so. Then take the upper sleeve, sorry, the upper thumb hole extension, the upper part, and this is what it looks like, and fold it like this so it's right sides together, there's a notch in the center, and overlock through that curve as well. And turn that through so it is wrong sides together or right side out. As you can tell my fabric's really thick and bulky but if you need to go and give that a press as well. Right, so I'm going to tack stitch this together just because my fabric is quite bulky and I'm worried I might need a hump jumper or um, I'm just a bit concerned about it. You probably won't need to do this, but it does help to hold your fabric together. So place the top piece, so the upper piece over the lower piece, and on the sides you'll have notches. And just make sure that those notches match and then just run a tacking stitch just to hold those into place and you want to tack that within the seam allowance of six mil quarter inch so I'm just running that through around about half of the seam allowance amount and then I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side find those notches So this is the area that our thumb is going to go through, like so. So, take your rectangle piece, and on the long sides there'll be three notches. There'll be one at the very centre, and then one on either side. So one in the very middle, I'll fold it over so you can see it. You'll have one in the very middle, and then other ones here like that. So what we're going to do is open the rectangle up, place this piece here and you want the bottom to match, you want the notch up the side to match and then you want the fold here to match that notch there. Then bring this over and create a sandwich. Now you need to make sure that's pushed all the way up or you're going to end up with a little ridge. And what I mean by a little ridge is here's one I did earlier and I didn't quite push it all the way up so I end up with sort of a dog leg here so be careful when you're doing that that you do push it all the way up so using a tack stitch is a really good idea it'll help push it up so I'm going to um, hold this like so wrap that over just tack that down now I am concerned about my overlocking. If you're going to be concerned that your 
layers are thick. Um, you can just sew um, a stitch with a domestic machine, just make sure it's a stretch stitch um, and that you have a ball needle. So if you need to, because the seam is fully enclosed, you could run this through even with your zigzag. Um, whichever stitch you normally stitch your knits with, you can use. So you don't have to use an overlocker if your fabric is bulky. So when that turns through, that's what we're looking for like so. So that's one side done. So then we need to do the same thing on the other side. So this seam now has to come all the way across and this is just where it gets a little bit awkward. You've got to push all of that in there and make sure that fold is right up on the edge just like before on the other side. Just going to push it all the way up If your fabric um, goes through the overlocker like that, that's great. If it doesn't, well, this is a really good option. And of course, I'm making sure this is six mil, quarter of an inch. So the fabric I'm sewing with is a um, wool mix boucle knit, which I was very excited when I saw about. Especially, I like the soft blue colour. And because I wear a lot of black, I'm really excited um, to have this as part of my wardrobe. And yes, I do wear my samples. So make sure when you sew that, that is sewn all the way through. So when you've done that, turn it through. Now this piece sews on to where the cuff would sew, but if you wanted to you could experiment with this pattern and just use it as a standard um, piece that you could use with any winter garment for a, um, a thumb hole opening. So you could just sew that to the bottom of any sleeve. So as you can tell that's going to come up the cuff like to like here, but certainly if you wanted to make this to fit on the end of your sleeve, you just could make it shorter to suit. So this is our hand warmer, like so. Go ahead and repeat that for the other side and we can move on. So for the cuff view or the thumb hole um, insert view, the um, procedure is pretty much the same. With the cuff you want to make sure you sew the edge without the notch, right, uh, right sides together, fold it again, and when you have the cuff or this extension piece like this, place this right side out, garment wrong side out, place the cuff inside it, or the thumb hole extension. So what we're going to do now is the lower sleeve with the rib matches the underarm and you need to make sure those notches match there. And then directly opposite there, there'll be a notch here as well. So we just need to gently sew that and ease it in to fit between those points. So the very last thing we need to do is our neck band. So to hem the straight sleeve, all you're doing is turning that up at the notch position, which is one and a half centimetres, nine sixteenths of an inch, and stitching that into place. And stitch that into place with a twin needle or your cover stitch machine.
to sew the hood, place the pieces right side together and we are going to sew down the seam and on one of the seams you'll have double notches that you're going to match. So we're going to overlock the long curved edge. So if we open it up, we have a long straight edge. What you need to do is create a hem through this edge. So the hem position is at the first notch, and this is one and a half centimeters, which is nine sixteenths of an inch. So go to your cover seamer or twin needle and turn that under and stitch it down. So now bring your hood to your machine and what we're going to do is just match the centre front. So there's another notch just in from the fold and that's our centre front notch. So just overlap those two notches, make sure the right side is over the left side as you wear it and just tack stitch those together. It's going to make your life so much easier when you sew this into the neckline. Just run a tack stitch within the seam allowance, so just under 6mm quarter of an inch. To attach the hood, place the garment so that the right side's on the inside and the back's at the back and the front's at the front. And with your hood right side out, the front at the front, place it inside. Then match that notch that we overlapped and that we tack stitched down to the two notches at the centre front and secure them in place. And then the seam of the hood is going to be sewn to the notch at the centre of the back. That will be the centre of the double notch at the back. Then there will be a notch to match to the shoulders and make sure that shoulder seam faces towards the back. And then there will be another notch on the other side. So then it's a matter of overlock securing that all together. Take your neck band piece and place it right side together and overlock together the short edge. So this seam here becomes our centre back neck. So fold that again so you have wrong sides together and right side out, like so. Take your garment and place it so the back inside out, so the back's at the back and the front's at the front, and place that seam to the back neck. That seam needs to sit into the two notches, right in the middle of them, in the back of the garment, and hold that in place. Now directly opposite that there are notches, and those notches are going to be the centre front neckline and they match to the notches here. Now at the centre front there's two layers so when you get here you're going to be sewing through four layers. Now part way between 
there are more notches and those notches match to the shoulder seam. So when you sew those, you're going to be making sure that that seam faces towards the back. You're going to have four layers on the front and three layers on the back. And then if we flip around to the other, like so. Now if you feel comfortable you can overlock that in now. I'm going to tack stitch through that area. Um, when you stitch you are going to need to stretch that band gently to make sure it fits into place. Um, just because there's so many raw edges I'm going to tack stitch them together first with my plain machine. So I'm just going to tack stitch within the seam allowance and the seam allowance is 6 mil, quarter of an inch. And I'm using the same colour as my um, garment so that I don't have to worry about removing the um, thread later. It'll just fall onto the overlocking stitches. So because I have tack stitched that into place, it makes this really easy um, to overlock. I'm not going to start at the centre back because it'll look a bit messy. I'm just going to start one side of one of the shoulder seams. Just like that, our garment is finished. So go ahead and do some quality control work, which basically just means give your garment a final press and trim any stray threads if you want to. You could, of course, stitch down this uh, neckband as well. And thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the sew along video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. And thanks for buying my patterns. I'll see you again soon.